What's going on everybody, Sonar here, and you know, I've been doing a lot of videos about my Lance camper that I bought this year. Um, it's something I'm really excited about going into the 2020 uh, FLW Tour season, and it's something that's going to change my lifestyle. I've said that a lot, but it truly is. Um, I got a Lance 975, and I've got a lot of questions from people asking me, you know, how do I tow my boat? Uh, behind this setup and uh, I've got the equipment for it and and it works really really nice it's pretty seamless and so I wanted to show you guys exactly what type of equipment what type of hitch extension I need to be able to accomplish this and uh, tow my boat behind my rig so let's hit the garage all right, everybody, so the system that allows me to tow my boat behind my camper is this right here, a hitch extension. This is the Super Trust by Torque Lift. It was installed by my dealership, and uh, it works very, very well. It's very beefy. You can see there's two uh, receivers here that allow this to have this support bar underneath, and so it's supported underneath, and then also side to side by these, these chain setups that anchor to the extension as well as the bumper and have these turnbuckles here to tighten everything up. So it's a very simple system. Uh, it's a little bit of a, an, an added expense to this whole deal, but it's absolutely essential. So I'm gonna put it together so you guys can see what it looks like um, as the finished product. All right, so this is the finished product of the hitch extension. It's all installed. I haven't installed it all the way i haven't added the pins and, and things like that there's two pins that go right here and then one right here that attaches my bmw tow and stow uh, hitch right here uh, which is what i need to uh, to actually tow the boat and so um, i'm not going to put those in right now but one thing that i will suggest is when choosing your pins uh, i use a locking one right here and one back here and then the other one's just a standard slide in and then you've got the the cotter pin that goes in there. Um, but overall, I would be uh, very, very cautious about just putting regular pins in here uh, because these are expensive parts and so you don't wanna get these stolen. So I get the locking pins and uh, put a little bit of grease on there. It'll help you get it in and out um, because this is so heavy that you have to get it just right to be able to slide out if you don't have the grease on there. So I put a little bit of grease on the pins. Another thing I'll mention, that has really helped me, especially with these back here where the pins are, is I got a bolt and a nice little sledgehammer. And the bolt and the sledgehammer help me kind of get those pins out when they're they're on there super tight because sometimes they get stuck a little bit and so you need a little bit of help. But the grease helps and having a little bolt like this certainly does help. But this overall is the setup, very strong. It, it works extremely well with the truck camper setup. You can see you've got your, your uh, connection right here um, that extends all the way back to your plug. So you are good to go. You're making no sacrifices at all. This thing is built to tow these boats. And, and so that is my setup. If you guys have any questions, of course, drop a comment below and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys out on the water.